YouTube, this your girl Lakeitha and I'm back here with another video. So today you guys, what we're going to do is, I want to show you guys, actually, how to achieve one curls on a bob weave, actually this is Brazilian hair, um, with flat irons, just regular flat irons. So, today basically, um, the tools that we're going to use today, or the products that we're going to use today, is going to be a wide tooth comb really doesn't matter, you just need something to get through your hair. And then you're gonna need the Got To Be Spray. This stuff is about $7.99. Um, I think this is the actually the highest and the cheapest that I've seen it. I haven't seen it. The price hasn't changed. Um, of course, flat irons. It doesn't matter any type of flat iron that you, you know, that you choose. This is still work because the main product that is going to be working in this video today will be the Got to Be Spray. And a lot of times I've seen that, I've seen people use this and I really think that they've been using it wrong. A lot of people, they use it, they're curl the hair and then spray this afterwards, which it could be used that way. But I think the best way to use it that I found from using it for myself is spraying it on the hair before you curl it it just makes the curl come out better and then it makes it hold longer so it's like a, a freeze spray i don't know if you guys have heard of the aussie sprees aussie freeze spray it's kind it's like that but i think this is it works i think this works better okay but first of all i think this works better because i feel like it works for everybody's hair you know every product doesn't work for everybody's hair so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and get into the process and don't forget you need clamps so what you guys want to do is first i want to tell you that this was this is my real hair right here i don't have very much of it out i like to change my hair a lot and then this is a quick weave so brace this up this is my real hair this is so this is the hair, and this is um, Brazilian hair, Brazilian body weight hair, and at first it was long, it was like, it was 18 inches, but you know, I like, to I like to change my hair a lot, so I just like swapped it all the way around, like, took some hair out, pulled the braid out, and then, you know, continued. That's a whole other story. So what I want to start with is if you can see, I actually went to church earlier today, so my hair is already kind of pre-curled because of earlier. And as you can see, these are pretty already, but I'm still going to show you how I achieved that look. So what you want to do is, let me stop the rambling. You want to start with um, a little part of your hair. You don't want to start with a big part. I mean, you can, but you'll get, your curls won't be as defined and they won't stay as much. But you need another they won't stay as long. See my feet here? It's tight right here. So, you take a little piece out like this. I'm gonna show you. You wanna shake it up. And I think it's best that you do it this way. And in the process, you wanna watch out for your furniture because this this gets sticky. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but they also have a, a glue. I know most people use it for, what's it called? The, um, the wig, like those wigs that you use, like the la a lace front, and they use like the glue, and then they glue it like with that glue. You can use it for like your edges also, but be very careful because it can take out your edges. But let's go ahead and start this. So it's gonna make your hair stick. And you wanna comb it out because it's gonna already be freezing in the process. And I have this heated on 420 just because this is weave and I don't really care. And you're going to hear that chiseling sound. You're going to go all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to roll it up like this. And then you're going to hold it. So when it comes to weave, I don't really care. You know, when it comes to heat and all that. But I feel like weave curls better in the high heat, you know. And this time, don't get the bottom. Just curl the top part. As you see, it's going to be a little crisp after you're done. You're just going to let that stay. Don't even touch it. Just let it stay like this. Then you want to take the same part start again. So you don't want 
be like too big. It's just a look for it to grow. And another thing that I like about this product is that when you put it in, it does feel hard when you first put it in, but it doesn't stay that way. Like when you start to like um, loosen up the curls to like what I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm sure you guys how it's going to look because you're not going to keep the curl this put together. You want to let it be trained to stay this way. Then the next part back here. Another thing about the back part, because I know we can't see it the back of our heads. So a lot of times I'll just basic, just basic curl the back of my head. But make sure it's like have a wavy beach effect. Because I love like the beach wavy effect. Messy waves. That's just one of the techniques that I've been doing because sometimes the curl doesn't go all the way through. So you just want to go back in and make sure you get the top. I'm just gonna come. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this side and then I'm gonna show you guys this side versus this side so you can see, you know, fresh look and how well how it looks after it's been up for well I've been laying on my hips so. And this is just the better part, so I think I'm gonna leave this. You're gonna do the creep sound because it's a, like a freeze, so the heat is gonna help it to, you know, stay. So, see this side versus this side. And you can do the same thing with your hair. Now, my hair is very is very coarse, so my hair does require more heat to straighten so I have already have, I already have a heat protector on my real hair but even if you're curling like your real hair you do want to be careful on the amount of heat that you put on your hair you, you can still spray your real hair and it's the way you do with the hair. And then you're gonna see it stick up like static. But then you're gonna see it stick up like static. It's a real strong curl, but when you do it like this, it loosens up like the hair isn't static anymore. It's gonna go. I really wish I should have. I'm gonna keep that curl in for a little bit and then this way. I want the curl to stay to stay. These curls have stayed in a little bit longer now. So you just want to pull this apart. Pull these curls apart. They're going to be a little rough, but they'll loosen up the more you pull them apart. But you can see the waves coming. They're like artificial waves. I thought 
I'm going to see you look. I'm going to clean it a little bit. And I do it, I kind of comb the waves out to make it look. This side to more tame than this side. I will basically do the same. So this is how I look like in the morning time for church. This is how my hair looked versus afterwards after I've laid on it and everything. But still then after I laid on it, it was still kind of cute. It was like a messy, frizzy look. And this is actually a weave. Oh, a quick weave. And then this is Brazilian body wave. It's Brazilian body wave here. And this is my little hair right here. And remind you, I actually cut my hair so it was way longer than this. I cut it because of heat damage, actually. So, see, I will really. And you could just switch this bob up in many different ways and then as far as the body, especially with the body wave step. So I'll curl this part back here. Just to get it to stay to make it have some kind of curl. And that's why I love body waves because it's so messy. I And then I always have to put this behind my ear. But of course I would have the hair back here covering up the weave. And then sometimes I even put the hair at the front like a messy look. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. This is just a quick video I think I thought that I should put out here because I've been seeing a lot of people use this and I just want to tell the way that I use the got to be spray. And the way that I did warm curls because I've seen so many people they call some call them um, beach waves and I just wanted to um, put my input out there to show people who are having trouble getting the beach waves or the messy beach wave look. They're having tr having trouble getting that look, but the look is possible. You will have like a cr it'll be crunchy at first, but the more you go through the day, the crunch is just the hold. The more you go through the day, the the tight curls will fall, and there will be like a messy beach wave look along through the day. So you guys stay tuned to Keith Ray Ebony, and I want you guys to stay tuned because we we do have a gala coming up, and we're we're going to be out trying to find. Shoes, dress, makeup, jewelry, and all of that. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Bye.